Who's ready to dance? I'm ready to dance. 안녕하세요. I'm Stephanie, fellow dancer, here to teach you Obliviate by Lovelace. And today I will be teaching you guys the intro, first verse, and first pre chorus. So let's get started. There are a couple ways to start. I'm going to show you one, and I will be directly facing the front here. So I'm just going to place my left toe next to my right foot. I'm going to bring my hands out like this. So you want to make sure that your left hand is over your right hand, and we're going to lower our head. From here, you hear like one count of like the music coming on, and then we're going to raise our head and raise our hands so our palms are facing front, and I'm going to kind of spread them so they're kind of like this. From there, I'm then going to close from pinky to thumb, and then open up again, and then from there, we're going to flick our hands up, raise them above our heads, and come down. From here, you can either slide to the right or to left. So you can go one, and two, to here. Or it's more like slide, and then to our pose here. So I'm just gonna place, again, my left toe kind of 90 degrees to my right foot here. Bring my right wrist, or my left wrist, to my forehead. And then we're gonna slowly bring our hand out kind of above ourselves to here. So the hand is like this, and this is going to be, we're gonna be doing this hand a lot in this dance. So then after that, I'm then going to kind of throw it, that left hand up, and then we're gonna take two steps, as far back as you can be, and be facing front, arms down to our sides. From here, I'm gonna take three steps. So we're gonna go one, here with the first step, you can either just keep your hands down or you can do a little kind of like running arm walk. So from here it's going to be like one. Second step, I'm going to be with my right finger here. I'm going to point to the left side of my head. Third step, I'm going to point to the right side of my head. And then the fourth, I'm going to place my left toe next to my right foot. And then I'm going to bring my right hand out to the right. And as I do that, I want to look to the right. From there, I'm going to very quickly place my left heel down, and then I'm going to do a lunge here. It doesn't have to be a very big lunge. So again, from here, bring it out, come into that lunge pose. As we come into that lunge pose, I'm going to bring my right arm around my stomach, then I'm going to kick my right foot around, and I'm going to raise my right hand up and behind myself. And then we're going to take one, two, three, about three steps to here, so that my right toe is next to my left foot, and my right palm is next to my left cheek. From here then, I'm then going to kind of go into another lunge here. So I'm going to place that right foot behind, and I'm going to point with my pointer finger, right pointer finger, back here. So you can either kind of go like this, or you can go like this, or you can go like that, kind of like whatever you feel like. But you want to try to get that nice arch back here. From there then I'm going to bring my feet together. I'm going to bring my right hand kind of to my forehead. Palm should be facing towards me. And then we're going to bend our knees. We're going to lean back and bring our hand to our chest. And then come back up. From there, you can do kind of a bunch of slides. I believe maybe four counts of slot, four to eight counts of slides. And then we're going to come to our pose. So I'm going to come to this pose. Again, there's like multiple, multiple poses you could start from, but I'm going to start from here. So now let's review that part before we go on. So from our pose here, when the music starts, I'm going to raise the head and the hands, close. Open, bring it up above the head, down, slide to the right or left, whichever one, and pose. Bring that left hand up into the hand position, flick it out, two steps, so we're facing front. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and bring it out. Come down to the lunge, kick up, one, two, three, to here. Lunge back and point. Bring it together to the forehead. 
arch back and down, slide, step to your position, to here. So again, there's multiple positions and directions you can face. I'll only do one kind of variation of it, but the hands are really similar for most of the members here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going this is going to be my hand behind the center person. I'm going to bring it forwards or over the shoulder and to the front. And as I do that, I'm going to look to the front here. From there, I'm going to go, I'm going to slightly bring my fingers up and then down. We're going to do that twice. So again, one, two, one, two to here. Lower the head, bring it up, close the hands into a fist open back up to here. From there, there's going to be just a variation of like moving to different positions. We're going to bring our hand. So I'm going to actually bring my hand kind of around the person's head like that in a very dramatic way. And then from there, you want to turn to face back. It doesn't really matter which way you turn. If you want to face back and feet together, arms down to side. That's almost you the center person. If you want to learn the center person part, Definitely do check down the description box below for more details on that. So from facing back here, um, if I'm if I'm going to go to the right side, there's the left side as well. You can do it that way. We're going to step left and then right, turning to face. Turning, we're going to be turning to the right so that we can face to the right. And I want to make sure that my, my feet are about a distance here. From there, then I'm going to kind of do a little chest pop and come down like that, so it's going to be like one, two, come down. When I'm down, I'm going to place my hand on my chest, and then I'm going to come up like that, so it's going to be like one, two, slow, chest, bring it up, and then I'm going to place my feet together, and I'm going to bring my right hand down to my side. So it's like one, two, chest, up, and then down with the hand. From here, I should be facing to the front. From there, everyone's going to join in. We're going to go one to left, bring it in, and then again to left here. So the hands are really simple. I'm just going to bring my palm to myself. I'm going to bring it to the left side of my face, back to my lips, and then from there I'm going to kind of tilt it so that my palm is facing down, and again to the left here. With the foot, it's kind of like you can either just keep your hip stationary if you want to, or you can add a little, little hip here, like that. And notice that I am also using my head. From here, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to kind of the center part here. So after our third one here, I'm gonna do a slight slide to the center. I'm going to place my right foot back and bend my knees. I'm going to reach out my right hand and close, like, kind of fast. And then from there, I'm going to turn to left. So that I'm facing to the front again, picking up my left foot. Then from there, I'm going to kind of bend my left knee. And I'm going to slightly bring up my right toes here so that I'm on the heel. And then from there, I'm going to, again, reach my left hand front. And I'm going to very slowly close it into a fist. So all together, from here, slide, we're going to go one, two, and then one, two to here, like that. And then from there, I'm going to slide front. I'm going to wipe my right hand over my uh, forehead. And then from there, slide, and then bring my hands out. And then maybe like one step, two step, so that we're facing front, feet together, arms down to side. Now let's review that part before we go on. So after our injured part, we're going to come to our position. From here, we're going to bring the front. And one, two with the hands. Lower the head. Bring it up. Close. Open. Again, go to your position, whatever arm. Slide. Turn so that you're facing to the back. We're going to wait here a few counts, and then we're going to go one, two, to face right, pop the chest, come down, hand to the chest, bring it up, and, and hand down, and feet together, to the left, mouth, again to the left, 
slide to the center, step back with the right foot, turn, step back with the left, and slowly close. Slide front, slide to left, and then one, two steps to here. From here then, I'm then going to do kind of like a hop, and I'm going to angle myself to the front right corner. So it's going to be hop left, right to here. So basically it's like one, two, like that. So like that. And I'm going to bring my hands up to a V with my palms facing away from myself. And I want to make sure that my head is also kind of tilted to the right here. From there, I'm going to do another hop. I'm going to go right and then left as I bring and cross my hands kind of tilted to the left here. So from the right corner here, I'm going to then bring myself to the front. Then from there, we're going to circle our right hand around with a little circle with the upper body. Once I get to about this position here, I'm then going to sit on my right hip, bend my knees. I'm going to bring my hands cross around my neck like that. And then I'm going to bring it together. So I'm just going to bring my right toe next to my left foot. And I'm going to bring the back of my right hand to my head here. From there I'm going to step back and arch and then from there again back arch and then we're gonna hop and I'm going to switch hands. So again it's like one two and then one two to here. So I'm just going to bring my left middle finger my right middle finger to my head here. Then I'm going to bring my feet together and then on my count, I'm going to very sharply bring my hands down. So I'm just going to overlay my hands like this. And then on my count, bring them down to about math level here. From there, you're going to do two steps again to your position. And you should be facing front. So then from here, I'm going to take like, I'm going to take two steps forward. So we're going to go one and then two. So I'm just going to bring my wrist to my forehead, to my head twice. So one, two, then I'm going to step to the right. I'm going to bring my right arm down. Then I'm going to step to the left and I'm going to wrap my right arm around my stomach here. From there, then I'm then going to kind of bend my knees. I'm going to do a little hip circle here. And as I do that, I'm going to bring my right arm out, right arm out. Then from there, I'm going to kind of Straighten my legs and I'm going to slide my hand down to my stomach. And from there I'm going to pick up my right foot and I'm going to raise my right fist to the side here like this. And then bring it down. You can also do this to the other side. So after our one, two, we're going to go one, two, and then one, two to here. And then up like that, I believe. If you do want to learn whoever's on the right side, definitely do check down in the description box below for more details on that. So then from here, I'm going to have kind of like six, six-ish counts to kind of do kind of like a freestyle little part to my position. And then from there, I want to end up in this position right here. So we're going to have our right toe out. You can just play, you can either place your right toe down or you can do the ballet way, which is just makes it kind of prettier. And then from here, I'm just going to bring my right hand to the right side of my chest and tilt my head back into the right. So now I'll give you that part before we go on. So after our slide and then one, two to here, I'm going to hop one, two to the front right corner and then hop one, two to the front, circle around to the neck and together. One back, hop two back, bring it together on your count, bring your hands down, and then walk two steps to your position. One, two steps, to the right, to the left, circle around, bring that left hand down, up, and down together. It's about six-ish counts of whatever freestyle you want to this position. 
Great job, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned part of this dance with me. That makes me really happy. And if you wish to review what we've learned this part, you can take a look down in the description box below. Anyways, I challenge you guys to be me because I know you can. Also, please do subscribe for more cool dance tutorials like this. If you haven't, that would be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Happy dancing!